like that loss, like just um, help us like um, stay together as a team. Um, can't like just dwell, dwell on the loss. Have to stay as a team and um, get better and keep getting better this week at practice. Questions? We'll go to Zach and then we'll go to Mike. Money on a couple of long touchdown passes that they had. From your perspective, what happened there? Where was the breakdown there in the coverage? Um, they just won. A, it was just a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and they uh, it was a they won the matchup one-on-one. -on -one. So it wasn't a breakdown. Just like they had a um, good play, um, they caught a good play against one-on-one. -on -one they uh, made a play. Let's go back behind the lights to Mike Lucas from KX, and we'll go to Travis. Hey, Demani, after Alabama last year, you guys rallied off 11 straight wins. So is there any confidence within the locker room knowing, hey, we've gotten from a loss already? You put together a great season. Uh, yes, for sure. Um, it's just one loss at the beginning of the season. Uh, we know we have like mistakes we have to clean up. So um, it's just like we just know we have to um, make it an urgency to clean it up and um, just help us stay together as a team. We'll go to Travis from the Eagle. With with two two, two and a half games of, of a little bit of offensive struggles, does the defense feel the weight that they need to kind of maybe carry the, the team to a win if if the points might not be on the board? Um, yeah, that's all. Like that's always our mentality, just to keep a um, a low scoring game. Um, we're not like worrying about the offense scoring a lot of point points. We're just worrying about doing our job and just focusing on um, executing the defense and just keeping um, making our like stops and doing what we have to do. And then the second half um, of the game, was there something schematically that you that y'all changed that you felt like kind of changed the tide in y'all's favor, or was it simply that KJ Jefferson went out and that kind of opened up some opportunities for y'all? Um, I just feel like we just focus in more, um, just locked in. Like, um, I guess, I guess we like a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't know the word, but I just uh, feel like we just like locked in more, and just we like just focus in more on little details. Let's go back to the back, and we'll go to Morgan from Kid Kids, and then Jennifer. What's the team's excitement level surrounding the SEC home opener? Um, I, I, what do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean? Okay. Um. Yeah. We just we're um. I guess we're super excited. Um. We're more excited just to be back in Kyle with like everyone here, but um. We're ready to like get it going against um SEC and we're just super ready to just start playing SEC ball. Jim from the battalion on your left, and then Cole. Hi, Damani. What do you have to say to people who are already counting you guys out for the rest of the season? Um. I just. Is watch like watch us ball. It's like um, like we're not worried about the the haters or the doubters. Um, just worry about focusing on ourselves and just um, staying as a team and playing as a team. Let's go to your far right, Nicole, and then we'll go to Justin. And then Damani, last week Arkansas rushed for 49 times. This week you're playing a team that's more pass eccentric. Do you feel like there's a little bit more pressure on the secondary this week to step up and make some plays? Um, yes, for sure. Um, like our. All right, this year, like, we've been struggling a little bit on the run, but um, Mississippi State, um, we just have to, like, uh, lock in the Coach Elko's plan, and I get, we'll be fine. On the left side, Justin from KX, and then Brent. Hey, Donnie, Donnie, kind of an outlier, but tackling against Arkansas was, was an issue. Is that just a, a one, one week wonder there? Um, yeah, really, you just got to – that's practice better and make that a um, focus point of practice this week and from the here on out. So. And secondly, slow starts. Arkansas and then Colorado obviously moved the ball pretty good early on. Mm -hmm. I know you make good adjustments and Coach Elko does well, but <clears throat> getting behind with an offense that's kind of trying to find its way right now, how mm -hmm. critical is it for you guys not to give up points early? Um, it's very critical. Um, we just have to we have to lock in from the start and we just can't allow like the explosive plays and like the um, big amount of yards from the early on. We just have to lock in and key in from the start. Let's go to Brent Gorman right here in front. So you saw it last year. So what is it about a Mike Leach offense that makes it unique in terms of how they attack offensively? Um, it's unique it's just because it has like a lot of like different like passing. Like they can do a lot of things like passing the ball wise. Um, they have like it's hurry up offense and. Um, it's just it's tempo and offense, so that's what makes it like unique. Just tempo and just like different different passes they give you. We haven't visited with Aaron Hansford, but there was one play in particular that caught a lot of people's eyes. He tried to 
make a push. Did you get an explanation from him on what happened on that play? Did you think he was right on the sidelines or something? Um, he just didn't wrap up like it. Um, it happens. Um, sometimes I don't wrap up, but he just didn't wrap up that play, and he uh, he'll have to fix this week. Thank you. Let's go to Robert Sesson on your left. What about Burke Seffert? Was that uh, one of the better receivers you've seen in time here, and what what made him so good Saturday? Um. I would say just like the um, Arkansas is playing with them, like they have like different plays to get them the ball, and um, they just use them in very unique ways, and he's a good player. All right, we'll finish up with Travis right in front. I know with against Kent State, y'all y'all went with an extra DB for most of the game. Do you, do you see some similarities in what Kent State did and and, and their general idea of scheme and what Mississippi State's going to do? Oh uh, yes, yes sir, for sure. Um, last year we played. Um, I played like a. I played as like a nickel position, and we had like um, like six DBs on the field. So I feel like we we'll do the same with Mississippi State this week. Got one more uh, follow from Brent. I wanted to ask you how you found the NIL deal so far for you in terms of how it's been for you in terms of any kind of adjustment, extra duties, interviews, mm -hmm. things like that. How it's been for you? Um, it's been okay. I'm like really not worried about NI NIL deals that much. I'm just worried about winning this season and focus on um and focus on like winning and just. Um, bottom of my guys. Thank you. Thank you, man.